Welcome to the virtual Texas tour with your tour guide, Tumbleweed Tanya, on the Texas Trail. Please remember to fasten your seatbelt, enter and exit through the aisle, take notes on the beautiful sights you see. We'll be making four stops, so hold on tight. And by the way, tips for the tour guide are encouraged. Our first stop is the Mountains and Basins region. The Mountains and Basins region is the most western region of Texas. It is the highest and the driest part of Texas. A basin is a low bowl-shaped land with higher ground all around it. The basins in this Texas region are deserts. This region has all of Texas's mountains and valleys. The mountains in Texas are part of the Rocky Mountains, which stretch through the western United States from Mexico to Canada. The Texas Rocky Mountains are made up of many small mountain ranges. The Davis Mountains are about in the center of the mountains and basins region. The Chisos Mountains are in the south. The Guadalupe Mountains are in the north. Guadalupe Peak is the highest point in Texas at 8,749 feet above sea level. The Chihuahuan Desert is located in this region. Prickly pear cactus grows here. Watch out, don't touch it. Big Bend National Park is located in a gigantic bend in the Rio Grande River. 99% of the park is desert. Did you know the largest pterodactyl bone ever discovered was found right here in Big Bend National Park? It had a wingspan of 51 feet and was found by Douglas A. Lawson in 1971. This is the city of El Paso. The name is Spanish for the pass. El Paso is the largest city in this region of Texas. Okay, everyone, back on the bus. Make sure you took plenty of notes. This region is located in West Texas. This region has all of Texas's mountains and valleys. This land is mostly desert. It has the least amount of rainfall in Texas. El Paso is the biggest city, and Big Bend National Park is located here.